So to use Java to create a text file and write the text file, we can import a file writer class, a file class and scanner class. So these add extra functionality to the program. Uh, in, in the main section here, uh, there's a couple of variables that have been declared. So there's uh, a couple of string variables, an integer, and also uh, objects are declared as well. So a scanner object is called scan, a file writer object called file, and a file object called my file. Over here on line 15, we've created a scanner object and called it scan. Uh, you can see that when I highlight the text, um, scan, scan object's been declared at the top here. Likewise, we can create a file object, or sorry, a file writer object, and we just call it file, which has been declared up here as a file writer object. And we can pass to that object the parameter student.txt. So that's the students.txt is just the name of the file um, that will, will be created, it's a simple text file. And you can just try out some um, input statements here. So enter your name. Uh, data, which is declared up here as a string, um, can be read from the keyboard using the next line method um, assigned to the scan object, which we created up here. And then we can write um, to the text file, students.txt. We can write name is, it's just a string literal plus data, which is what we put in on the keyboard. And then we can write a new line, uh, just a blank line underneath it. And then we can do another statement here, um, enter age and years as an integer. Uh, this time we use the variable uh, num, which has been declared up here as an integer. And using the scan object, which, which we called scan, uh, we can use the next int method to read the number off the keyboard. And then likewise, uh, as before, we can write a string literal ages followed by the num which has been entered off the keyboard. And then we can close um, file. Um, this just closes the, the object. Okay, because we, we've been using the file object here. And uh, when, when we finished with it, we can just close it. Um, this last bit is just to show that the file has been created. So um, we can create um, a new object, call it my file, a new file object called my file here. Um, we can then create a new scan object, uh, scanner my file. So we pass basically this object here, my file to the scanner object as a parameter of the scanner object and we just call it scan uh, here. We've called it scan before so we're just basically reusing the same name. We can use a while loop just to go round and round until um, has next line becomes false. When it becomes false it will then jump out of the while loop and then it will close the program. Okay so this bit here is just just the last bit to show the contents of the file created. Um, if I took that out, the file will still be created, um, it just wouldn't show up. Uh, I'll do that anyway, so I'll just d delete that. I'll just run the file. So I'll put here. Okay, you'll see nothing's happened, but if I go over here to revision, right click, uh, revision is my project folder and go refresh. You see it's created the file here, um, the students.txt. If I double click it, you can open it up um, in, in the Java program here. If I just go back to this program, uh, just put that back in again. This is just going to show the contents of the file created. If I just run it again, Uh, you see it you see here it's this bit uh, this bit here is just outputted the contents of the file you'll see here that this um, if I double click this it's, it's changed it here so that's just basically writing uh, text to a file thank you